The judicial and the stakeholders have mourned the late Justice Kenneth Kakuru, who died on Tuesday this week. Judiciary through the Chief Justice Alfonso Wunyidolo applauded the works of the late Justice Kenneth Kakuru towards the judiciary and the entire public. The judiciary, the legal fraternity, and the country at large, and, and, and this many members have said, have lost a fair-minded judicial officer. His laudable decade-long service in the judiciary was characterized by sound output and tireless commitment to duty. He called a spoon a spoon, not a small spade. He was an exemplary leader and a resilient manager who moved things and produced results. The late Justice Kenneth Kaku lost a battle against cancer on Tuesday this week. Basing on this background, Chief Justice Alfonso Unidolo advised the judicial officers to always go for medical examination to prevent some diseases. Let us take very, very seriously the need to have frequent, comprehensive examination, medical examination. We lead a sedentary life. From home in the morning you come to office. If you carry out a test on these judicial officers, many of them, including the Chief Justice, will be having a problem with vitamin D. Because we never enjoy the sanction. Deputy Chief Justice Richard Ibutera praised the Justice Kenneth Kakuru for being hardworking and cooperative person during his work. He carried no grudges, no ill feelings, and no malice. He was always fair and frank in a peaceful manner. We believe that his legacy, the legacy he has left will go on. His sound, informative, and educative opinions will continue to enrich our jurisprudence. Benjamin Kabido, Chairperson of Judicial Service Commission, also spoke highly on the late Justice Kenneth Kakulu. Justice Kakulu was a committed champion of environmental justice and helped enrich our jurisprudence on environmental law. Other mourners had this to say about the late Justice Kenneth Kakulu. But with the I can tell you that Kakulu loved his work and he died doing his work. The public pays taxes, they pay us salaries. We must show them that we deserve the salaries we earn. I wasn't persuaded as to how much money he is going to get out of the case. He wasn't persuaded as to whom the case is going to please and uh, or to displease. But as we do this, what have we learned? as the existing judicial officers, background center, very transparent, you read his judgment and sign it and the whole public will get it immediately. This business of, I cannot find this judgment, no. Judge the family described the letter as a person who loved his country and the rule of law. During court vacation, he would organize all his spending files and use his vacation to complete all pending cases. Like we have heard, he was a backlog fighter. When he got sick, he was concerned that he wouldn't be able to keep up with the demand of his work, so he submitted his resignation as he had. Justice Kenneth Kakulu died of prostate cancer at Aga Kanyo Hospital in Nairobi, where he was receiving treatment. Justice Kenneth Kakulu, who will be buried in Ravishuli in Imbarara, he survived with a wife and six children. Deborah Namamonde, UBC News.